had me at all. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else. I got you, and you got me too. You can ride out the blue. I wanna do what you want to. We can leave and run away someday. Someday. Good morning, happy game day. Hello you guys, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to the vlog, happy Saturday. We are gonna spend the weekend together, so welcome to a little weekend in my life vlog. I did one of these a few weeks ago and it was so much fun. So I'm excited to bring you guys along for another little fall weekend in my life in Washington, DC. It is Saturday, it's a little bit past nine o'clock in the morning and today is game day. I am a huge Michigan Wolverines football fan. If you guys didn't know, if you're new here, I used to go to all of the Michigan home games when I was a student at UMich. I even did a few game day vlogs as a student. So if you guys wanna know what it was like to go to a home game in the big house in the student section, I did a couple of those vlogs. I will link them up in the cards one of the corners i'm pretty sure it's this one i will link them up in the cards for you guys to go watch those because they were super duper fun but i graduated from michigan back in 2023 and obviously i can't go to every single game anymore but i still love to get up and celebrate game days and go watch the games with some of my other friends from michigan there's actually a bar downtown that we like to go to that broadcasts the games on saturdays so that is my plan for the morning the game is at noon the bar opens at 11 and the line gets really really long so i am going to try and get there by 10 30 which means i need to leave here by 10 because it takes about a half an hour to get there so i'm just having a little breakfast this morning i made waffles and sliced up an orange i have been on an orange kick recently but this one is giving me a lot of trouble <laughs> so i'm gonna chow down on this and then we are gonna start getting ready for the game i did my hair my little heatless curler last night so i'm hoping that my hair turns out nice for the game although it's supposed to be 85 degrees today so i'm not holding out hope that it's gonna last long but that's okay it only needs to look good for the thumbnail basically all right i'm giving up on this slice you're impossible i'm moving on okay it is just past 9 30 we have about half an hour to get ready and head out so i'm just gonna do my makeup really quickly and we'll do a quick little get ready with me chit chat i'm actually not gonna be going too too heavy on my makeup today because i have a plan for when i get home to actually be doing my makeup for like the rest of the day if you guys have seen some of my other videos i announced that i'm going to the eras tour in october and i am so excited i feel like i haven't stopped talking about this it's probably getting annoying but Sorry. I'm going to the Ares tour in the end of October with my mom and I'm so excited, but I'm also like, I don't want to say anxious because that's not the right word, but I'm having a hard time deciding like exactly what I want to wear. I know that I'm going to go as the 1989 era, which is so exciting, but I want to try out a bunch of different makeup looks in advance so that I'm not stressed like trying to do my makeup the day of the show because if there's one thing about me, if I'm getting ready for something, and my hair or my makeup is not cooperating, it's a bad day for everyone, including me and including everyone around me. For that reason, basically, okay, long story short, I just like get really stressed and then I get really frustrated if I don't have a plan for my hair and my makeup going into something like in advance. So for the Ares tour, I wanna do a series on my Instagram, my TikTok, where I'm trying a bunch of different like makeup and hair looks and you guys are going to help me decide which one we like best. When I get home from the game today, I'm going to be trying on a couple different makeup looks. Well, a couple different might be ambitious. I'm gonna be trying at least one, but I have pretty sensitive skin, so I don't wanna be like irritating it by putting on 
on a bunch of makeup and then taking it all off and then putting on a bunch more and then taking that off like so we're gonna try and go like sort of light on my base makeup for the game since I'm going to have to take it off a few hours later anyway I'm also trying to be like a little bit more casual about the games now that I'm not actually like going to the big house I used to do like glitter dots above my eyebrows and like go all out but I feel like that's definitely more of like an in-person game day type of vibe not like showing up to a bar as a 23 year old in the morning like broad daylight kind of vibe so we're just gonna go a little more subtle a little less aggressive than perhaps i might have done when i was in college don't get me wrong we're still doing glitter we're still doing like not super neutral but it's not gonna be like dots on the eyebrows levels I'm so excited that football Saturdays are back. I'm not really a huge like NFL person. I love the Chiefs because I love Taylor Swift and like Travis Kelsey is a king, but I don't really like watch NFL football. Also, <laughs> I said I wasn't doing anything intense. This is the color I'm about to put on my eyelids. <laughs> We're just gonna do a little. I don't like have anything against the NFL. I just think college football is a little bit more exciting personally. Like I get so excited to watch Michigan football, but I don't really get excited the same way to watch like an NFL game. Okay. I also don't know why I always look so orange on camera because it never looks that orange in person. It's much more brown, but anyway. But also I love that college football games are on Saturdays because whenever I do something on a Saturday, it makes the weekend feel so much warmer longer because usually I would wait until Sunday to do all my exciting things like Saturday is like the rest day where you like spend the whole day rotting like you spend the whole day in your jammies and like don't get me wrong I love doing that but I have realized that I prefer to do my rotting on Sundays rather than rot on Saturdays and then spend all day Sunday like cleaning and doing laundry and being stressed and being like oh my god like i'm never gonna get everything done and the work week starts tomorrow <laughs> i've discovered that it works better for me if i can have a really busy saturday because then it still feels like sunday and i'm like oh my god like weekend's over i did all my exciting things but i'm like no actually i have an entire day tomorrow that I can either do a bunch more exciting things or i can relax and chill for a little bit so i'm excited that college football Saturdays are back because it kind of gives a little more structure to my weekend and it like forces me to get up and do stuff on Saturdays, especially for these noon games because you have to plan so far in advance that I basically get up at like seven, eight o'clock in the morning on a Saturday, which I didn't used to do. We're also running really on time today. It's only about 9.45, which means I don't want to jinx it, but I might might be on time. I'm taking the metro today. Last week when I went here, I Ubered because it's significantly faster to Uber in DC. Love public transportation, love the metro. However, it does take just like so much longer than taking an Uber or taking a Lyft, but I'm trying to not do that as much. I'm trying to like use more of the resources available to me rather than just like spending $15 to Uber 10 minutes down the street. There we go, that's so much better, cutie. So even though the game starts at noon, we're leaving here at 10 o'clock, but it's okay. We'll get there around 10.30, wait in line. I'm meeting some of my friends there. I still don't know what I'm gonna wear. I'm so disappointed in myself because when I moved here, like when I was packing everything, I deliberately didn't pack a lot of my Michigan game day outfits that I used to wear as a student to game days. Cause I was like, oh, I'm not a student anymore, like, for game days, I won't need to wear this stuff because I'm just gonna be watching it on TV. And it just did not occur to me that I would want to wear Michigan stuff while I was watching the games, even if I was watching them on TV. I brought a bunch of sweatshirts, like I have plenty of sweatshirts. However, it's the middle of September and it's still 85 degrees down here. So I don't wanna like wear a sweatshirt and roast, but at the same time, I don't have anything else. Like I don't have any t-shirts or tank tops or anything that are Michigan themed. And I can't show up to this bar not wearing Michigan Michigan gear like how lame would that be so I'm going to have to either go home at some point and grab all my stuff and by go home and grab I mean drive 12 hours there and then drive 12 hours back home or have my mom and dad pack up a box of my stuff and ship it to me so we'll see but as of right now I don't know what I'm gonna wear it's probably gonna be a little yellow tank top and a pair of jeans and then a Michigan sweatshirt on top and I'll just try and keep the sweatshirt on unless I'm like absolutely roasting which I'm hoping doesn't happen but you know what we'll see I love how I said like literally 
20 minutes ago that I wasn't gonna do anything super like intense for makeup and then this is literally the most all out that I go for makeup is like bronzer, blush, full bead on the eyes. I used my like good mascara. I love when I lie for no reason. Just, I was like, I'm gonna take it easy. No, that is the look. Let's take down my hair and hopefully it looks good. But I guarantee you by the time I get home, my hair won't be curled anymore. Slay, okay, I need to brush them through, but they turned out so well. Oh my God, yay. I'm gonna go get changed and I'll give you guys the final look before we head out. All right, it is 10.05, I'm heading out the door. I am so proud of myself that I'm actually on time. Here's the full fit, here's my hair brushed out. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I think it looks super cute. I'm just wearing my sunglasses because it is so sunny and bright outside. This is the only Michigan t-shirt that I have. I'm just wearing these straight leg -like jeans and my little Adidas sneakers. And I've got my crossbody bag. My little daisy bracelets. I got these from Etsy. I will link them down below because I love them so much. I've got my watch and then two little gold bracelets on here. You guys saw the makeup, obviously. And I'm just wearing my little gold hoops. So we are ready to go. Let's head out and cheer on the Michigan Wolverines. Go blue. Back when I tried to move on from your life. So you stole my life for clarity. So hold me back. Now you're here. Cause I'm mad. Show no fear. Michigan won, so that was exciting. Go blue. As predicted, my curls stayed so gorgeous. Look at how nice and curly my hair looks. <laughs> they were actually straight, like my curls had completely fallen out um, before I even got to the metro station. So that was fun. But we are home, it is 4.45 p.m. I changed really quickly into some comfy clothes and I'm just chilling on my football themed couch. <laughs> I love that football is the theme that I went for for this couch. But I got home a little while ago and I am just relaxing for a little bit. It is kind of draining on game days to like be out and be social and like be rooting so hard for the team. So I'm just relaxing inside for a little bit, kind of unwinding from the game. I am going to see if I can get whatever other games are playing today on TV. Sometimes my TV is like a little finicky when it comes to getting like football games on because I don't have cable. So I have a workaround, but like it doesn't always work, but hopefully I can get it figured out. And then while the games are on, I am also going to get some editing done. I have been really behind on like editing content. Fortunately, I do have an editor who helps me sometimes, but I have some time this afternoon to get some editing done myself to like actually edit my own video. So I'm going to be editing my um, fall decorating vlog, which I'm actually so excited for. It's been about a week-ish for me, I think since I finished decorating this apartment for fall and I am absolutely obsessed. I think it looks so, so good and it's making me feel so festive. So I'm really excited to edit that vlog and get that out for you guys. And then at the same time or like in the same vein, I guess. I'm also going to be editing some TikToks because I filmed some decorating content for my Instagram, my TikTok as well. And I always forget to edit TikToks and Instagram like short form content during the week. I am really hoping that I can get that done tonight so I can kind of like batch prep some content for next week since I will be traveling for a work trip. I won't be able to post like, it won't be my main focus to like post on my own socials next week. So 
Hopefully I can get those done in advance and kind of like get ahead of my content. And then I also have some brand deal emails that I want to respond to. I want to respond to some comments. It's just going to be a very chill, like content focused late afternoon slash early evening. I said earlier that I wanted to start my Eros tour look series today i wanted to like try out my first look for that but um not right now that might have to wait until later because i still haven't taken off my game day makeup and i just want to sit and chill for a little while so that's what we're gonna do and i will potentially film that later this evening before the sun goes down later obviously i tested out my eras tour makeup this is the first look here is the overview <laughs> i put on false lashes uh pretty poorly actually but um it worked so this is look one head over to my instagram my tiktok if you want to see the process of how this came together but now it is time to take it off because i can like feel the false eyelashes on my face i'm just ready to not feel them anymore i will say putting them out okay that wasn't too bad <laughs> putting them on was not as difficult this time around as it has been in the past which is really exciting because that means i might be able to actually pull it off woo, for um the actual eras tour good glue too that like hurt a little bit coming off but i was super proud of myself to be quite honest for pulling this together with no experience wearing blue eyeshadow before so anyway I'm gonna take this off. Okay, there we go. Makeup is all off, face is all clean. My skin around like my eyes and my eyelids is definitely feeling a little bit irritated because we've done a lot to my face today. A lot more than I normally do. So I'm just gonna put on some moisturizer and call it a day and kind of like leave my face alone for the rest of the day and most of the day tomorrow. My friend Erin and I tomorrow are actually going to a baseball game. We're going to a Nationals baseball game, which is gonna be so much fun. I've been to a couple of Nationals games so far this season and it's pretty fun to have like a professional baseball team right in our backyard and the tickets are pretty inexpensive too I'm pretty sure we paid like $15 each for our tickets for tomorrow which is like awesome because I grew up in Maine if you guys didn't know and the closest professional baseball team that we have to Maine is the Boston Red Sox. Tickets to the Boston Red Sox are not $15, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but all of that is happening tomorrow, so even though it's not even 9 p.m. yet, I think I'm gonna sign off for today. I'm just gonna keep answering emails, answering comments, and watching the football games that are on TV, the night games. Right now, I'm currently watching Georgia versus Tennessee, it looks like. That's just what came on. But I think that is just gonna be my plan for the rest of the night. So I am going to wrap it up and I will see you guys tomorrow for the second day of this weekend in my life vlog. Good morning guys, happy Sunday. I am currently frantically cleaning up my apartment. You know when you have company coming over and you look at your apartment and you're like, oh my God, I cannot have people in here in this current state. That's where I'm at right now. My friend Erin is coming over because we are going to the national baseball game together and my apartment is much closer to the stadium than hers is so we're meeting here first we are going to have lunch and then go to the game together and she texted me and she was like oh I'm on the way like it's not gonna take me as long to get to your apartment as we thought it did as we thought it would and I was like oh my god that's so awesome except every single one of my pots and pans are in the sink and need to be washed so it's not like she would care but I don't know it's never fun to like bring company into your apartment and be like oh sorry it's actually a disaster right now i've already cleaned my bathroom and like cleaned up my bedroom so kitchen living room is the last thing that i need to do erin is one of my friends from michigan she was at the bar with me yesterday for the football game i don't know if you guys have actually met her on the vlog before or not this is like my mini very rushed very like low quality sunday reset oh my god okay she is here
definitely channeling egg vibes right now, so don't mind that. I need to wash my hair tonight. <laughs> we made it home from the Nationals game. We won, which was exciting. This is like a very good weekend for sports teams that I'm rooting for. Michigan won yesterday and the Nats won today, so big weekend for me. <laughs> but we made it home. I'm currently watching the Chiefs game. I just have that on TV. Hoping that they win also and we can make it three for three this weekend for sports teams. But at the game, they were giving these out for free. Um, I guess it's the 100 year anniversary of when the Nats won the world championship in 1924. So they were giving these out. I got four of them for some reason. They just kept handing them to me. And then on my way home, I walked past a fundraiser and I was feeling generous. So I donated $5 and I got a Twix bar in return. Anyway, I am going to finish editing my decorating vlog. I meant to finish that this morning, but then the day got away from me. So I'm gonna try and finish that and get it out posted this evening, hopefully like before seven o'clock, but we, we will have to see. I'm also going to throw in a load of laundry because I'm leaving for my work trip tomorrow and I wanna make sure that I have all of the clothes that I need fresh and washed. It's about 5.15, so it's just gonna be kind of like a nice peaceful chill night in, getting some household chores done, getting some work done. I'm also probably going to try and call my parents because we usually call at some point during the weekend and I haven't talked to them yet this weekend. So probably gonna try and FaceTime them at some point. So that's the plan for right now. It's just gonna be a pretty chill afternoon, nice little Sunday evening in to kind of like rest and get recharged for next week. It is two o'clock in the morning and it is time for me to get to bed. I have been folding laundry and making my packing list and it's finally like almost done. So I am heading to bed. I have a really, really big day coming up tomorrow. I'm leaving and traveling for my first ever work trip and I'm so, so excited. But I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for this little weekend of my life. I love filming these videos. I think they're so much fun and they really actually like help me do more with my weekends. Sometimes I feel like I don't take advantage of my weekends. Like I spend too much time wanting to like relax and then I don't end up doing anything. But I love filming these videos because it gets me like out of the house and doing fun stuff. And I always have such a good time. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it for me down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. So let us dance this night away.